some of the consideration of handling the suspect computer. So once uh, you have the power supply shut off and you possibly transported uh, the computer to your secure storage uh, location, and then um, you are going to first uh, start examination. Um, your, your target is, of course, to create uh, uh, forensic copies of the hard drives and other media, but in terms of the actual computer handling, uh, you want to be able to remove the computer ca uh, casing, so given that this is a traditional desktop computer as an example, ensure that the computer does not contain explosive, uh, well, if you suspect that that could be the case, then of course the, uh, the special trained dogs can help you with that. Uh, you want to examine the internals of the computer uh, just to see if uh, there's uh, any kind of uh, special installed uh, equipment um, uh, there. Um, unplug power cables from the hard drives. You want to verify that all um, inserted cards are, are seated properly, uh, just to make sure that you know the, you you capture the initial condition um, of the uh, of the hardware. And then uh, you want to observe any kind of animalities like uh, the potentially uh, previously disconnected hard drives is, is one of the big concerns. And uh, of course, um, you know, taking pictures of everything is a huge help because it allows to visually document everything that, uh, that uh, you need to be able to otherwise memorize and, and write uh, notes about. So we need to handle uh, hard drives uh, with care. And uh, typically you don't want to, uh, you know, um, uh, compromise the finger uh, fingertips, uh, uh, and uh, you also don't want to uh, uh, expose the 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 parts of the drive to static electricity discharges. And uh, of course, uh, be careful with connections of cables and not to break connection pins. Um, some damage can be uh, repaired. Uh, but the required cost uh, may be very prohibitive, right? So this is just uh, just something to definitely avoid. Um, at the lab, once the hard drives are removed from the computer, uh, you probably want to um, uh, turn the computer on and just record the actual BIOS, access the BIOS information, and record the uh, actual date and time information on the system. So that would indicate the time zone and general time information um, that uh, the computer is using. Uh, so sometimes if computers are disconnected from the internet, there could be some really biased differences compared to the actual date time. There could be discrepancies um, in the date and time, which may um, have to be indicated in your reports when you're collecting the timestamps or files and other artifacts that you find on the system. And of course, once you capture the information about the bias, you can move the suspect computer to evidence preservation uh, in the storage room. Okay, so this is the form that you typically fill fill out uh, regarding. Um, typically, this is uh, uh, this is computerized, so you just fill out the form uh, for uh, for your bias uh, examination. Once again, depending on your case, there could be other circumstances and other consideration impacting whether you want to do some live system on-site examination or just uh, turn off the computer by unplugging the power cord and transport it to your secure environment for further examination. So it may be impacted by the type of the case. For instance, so you want to be able to uh, find out uh, information as soon as possible. Mm, uh, you could, again, uh, there could be multiple factors contributing to your decision about whether to compute, uh, to, to collect uh, memory uh, information and other volatile information from the computer. Um, th there could be some transportation concerns. Um, and uh, one of the things uh, that are important is that, of course, if there is any kind of encrypted file systems or, or you think that the user is a sophisticated user who could be encrypting and hiding information in the system and uh, you just happen to have access to the live system, then um, you uh, may consider accessing that evidence on site and start copying that evidence uh, immediately. So again, it depends on the circumstances of your case, on the type of suspect and the type of crime or any other circumstances concerning the case.